Good morning, my internet children. My name is Mama May. Of course, you already knew that. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel, aka this video you are watching right now. Um, today's video is self-care, self-confidence, and like self-esteem. Um, but if you really want me to, I will do a video on advice for other moms next month if you press the like button and get us to 200 likes 200 likes and i will get on top of that video next month um but today's video self-care self-confidence self-esteem i have so many children that struggle with all of that and as a mom I struggle with that too because as a mom I have to be at my best almost all the time to keep up with my kids but it's so hard to do self-care when you when you have so many kids around you and and you have so much to do so what is some tips for self-confidence, self-care, and self-esteem. One, let's start off with self-confidence and self-esteem. Stop telling yourself out loud that you are ugly, that you aren't pretty, that you aren't handsome, that you aren't wonderful. When you speak those words out, you think them even more. And when you hear other people call you ugly, and when you hear other people call you disgusting or, or all those things, don't start calling yourself that. The moment you start saying it out loud, the more you're going to believe it even more. The way to stop thinking is to stop saying. That's just a simple, simple, simple thing to do. Though for a lot of people, it's going to be so so hard to do for some people it's super easy for some people it's going to be the hardest thing in the world to do if you have to write on your mirror whether it's in your bathroom in your bedroom on your wall if you have a whiteboard on your wall start writing things self-help things like i am wonderfully made um, I'm a strong, independent woman or man, like write these things down, put them on your mirror, put them on your wall, put them where you can see them every single day. You might forget them some days, but those days when you really need them, you can just look up and you will see these things about you on the wall and on your mirror or keep an empty mirror somewhere in your house where you'll see it every day and put a new affirmation on that mirror every time you walk by something new every time whether it's i'm beautifully wonderfully made christ strengthens me um i got this like different things like that i mean i do that with my kids and i find that a lot of them have more improvement and and have more self-confidence just by doing that and just have like and don't forget that you are loved I know that was kind of random but a lot of people forget that they are loved you might not be loved by your immediate family I mean most of my kids didn't feel that way when they came into my house but you are loved Maybe it's not by your birth family. Maybe it's your foster family. Maybe it's that family that sit, you sit with at church. Maybe it's that family that are those people at the basketball games and the football games, the soccer games. Maybe it's the kids at your club, like a club that you go to at school. Maybe it's your teachers. Maybe, but there's always somebody who cares about you. Always. There is always somebody who cares about you there's somebody there 
You may not feel that way, but there is. Always and forever there is. You, again, you may not feel that way, but there always is. Find them. Or let them find you. I know I've dealt hard with that. As you guys know, my backstory, like, I was taken out of a village where, where I felt like I was loved because, because we were labeled a cult just because we were different and just because we didn't do everything by the book. I had my people. And though it was hard for me to grow up, I made sure that my kids have their people and that they know they're cared about and that they're loved. So that's, I mean, that's the first step for sure, but it takes time to feel self-confident. It takes time to get that self-esteem. It's not a poof, I'm now self-confident kind of thing. It's a constant practice, constant work. It's const, it's like, you don't have to change your body to feel self-confident. You don't have to wear makeup. Like if, yeah, sure, makeup can help sometimes if you're that kind of person, but you don't have to wear makeup to be self-confident. You don't have to get all dressed up to be self-confident. Maybe you feel confidence more because of it. And that's cool, that's good for you. But you should be able to feel confident without all that. You should feel beautiful and handsome and strong without all that. Maybe that's just m my opinion as a mom. Maybe that's just me. But that's what I believe. Now self-care. I feel like I touched a little bit on that with the, with the mirror stuff. But self-care is not just like hygiene and, and making sure your body looks nice. Like most of the time that isn't even self-care self-care is ways to help you feel better about yourself or taking a break when you most need it a lot of people really don't or have the ability don't have the ability to do that and it sucks but here's one tip I have for you uh, actually, there's two tips I have for you. You can do self-care even when you're in the most busiest situation. Maybe you feel like you're getting upset and you need to walk away, but you can't walk away because this situation is so important. Then, no matter where you're at, yeah, it, it, you might look crazy to other people, but no matter where you're at, close your eyes and take 10 deep breaths. Let it out. Just do that. 10, even if you have to do it only for three times or do it up to 10 times, deep breaths. You're okay. You are safe. Nobody can do anything without your consent. And you are in control. Now the other idea is this is the one, two, three. You start off with three. You say and you close and you you can have your eyes open the first time. But do three things you see, three things you hear, and three things you feel. Then you go to the two. What two things do you see? What two things do you hear? What two things do you feel? Then you do one. What's one thing you see? What's one thing you feel? 
What's one thing you hear? Then you close your eyes and you count, you start counting up. You say one thing that you see, one thing you feel, and one thing you hear. And now remember, you don't have to have the same things over and over again. They cannot be different. And this is with your eyes closed now. And then you do two things you see, two things you hear, two things you feel. And then you do three things you see, three things you feel, three things you hear. And after that, if you don't feel any better, that's okay. Sometimes it takes time. I know that doesn't sound like a self-care thing, but it really is. Just being able to refocus is such a huge step in self-care. Now, I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video, but I'm not a professional at these kind of things. I just know from my experience and how I feel and how I do things. So if it doesn't work, that's okay. Maybe you're just a different person and you have your own things you do. Feel free if you know some tips on self-care and self-help and self-confidence, feel free to comment down below so everybody else can see and try your tips out too. I just want you to know that as my children, as you're watching right now, because you're my child, while you're, because you're watching this video and you have been adopted into my foster family as my mama, May, one of Mama May's children, I want you to know that you are loved, that you are cared about, and nobody can take that away from you. Nobody. I know you probably don't feel loved about for yourself right now, but there is somebody that loves you and cares about you and wants to hear from you. If you, as soon as I said that and you felt and you thought of somebody that might want to hear from you, call them right now. It's okay to pause this video. It's okay to exit from this video right now and call that person. Text that person. Message that person, whoever they are. If they are leaving, living and breathing, contact them. If it's somebody you thought of and they're gone and you can't reach out to them, write a letter. You don't have to deliver it to anybody. Just write a letter. You can throw it away afterwards. Just write it to some, write to somebody. Because there's, even when you don't love yourself, there is somebody who loves you and cares about you. Well, my children, it is time to end the video. I want you to know that I love you no matter what. I love you this morning, this afternoon, this evening. I want you to be able to breathe and reflect on the day and remember that I care about you and that you are important and you are special and you are amazing. I will care about you tomorrow. I cared about you yesterday and I will continue to care about you no matter what. Well, <laughs> I love you, my children. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>